of the Entertainment Walls presentation, building project. Here's one of my beams I got in. I got all the beams in this week and I'm all set up here. As you can see, they're gonna screw to the plywood up there. It's already up there. Got the ladder set up here because I'm gonna be doing this by myself. I'm gonna prop one end up here, go up here, screw in the first screws and they'll all be pre-drilled holes with screws already in the holes so it should go fairly easy. We'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, I've got all the screws pre-drilled into this faux beam right here. The beam has been cut with the angle cuts right there on both ends. Pretty easy to cut. 22 and a half inch cut right here on the end of this piece that's going to go up on the end there where the ladder is up there as soon as I measure the length down to cut straight edge all right I got the beam up two two pieces up here now I got the longest one that was the toughest one and this was supposed to be a 45 a 22 and a half and 22 and a half cut I did that and the angles were off so I had to do a little deeper cut this way almost by freehand and by the time I did all that I mean we've got a slight gap there the corner looks pretty good once we put some filler in there we can touch it up but notice how the seams in the wood kind of match so that was ideally what we yeah, wanted we got this all done the second beam up above the fireplace that was similar with this uh, 45 angle cut right here I did have to use some shims on that one but we got it in and it looks really clean there that angle is really clean not much spacing in between there that'll make the uh, touch-up patch work a lot easier this one I fine-tuned this one last night so that even looks better now you can see that So the angles are the most difficult part doing the faux beams as well as it was doing it on the stone panels but I think the faux beams are even a little bit more difficult because you have that grain to match and anytime you make a 45 cut like this or cut where you want to meet at an angle you want to use the same leftover piece so that the wood, uh, the wood finish matches around the corner edges as you can see here. See how that wood kind of blends right in as it goes around that angle there. Same with right here on this angle. It flows really good. All right, I gotta get the last angle piece up in there screwed in and then 
I'm going to save the uh, touch-up for later because the touch-up kit pack did not arrive with the beams. I emailed the company, Barron's, and they're going to send me a touch-up paint kit as soon as possible. But for now, I'm going to go ahead after this. Stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and put our electrical lighting in, into the beams. That should be interesting. All right, I just got to, it fits pretty good back here. I can go back another quarter of an inch, oh, right. almost maybe an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. Might need some touch up paint on the top edge of the stone. That's okay. Looks like I got a pretty good fit, except for over here, I'm hitting this uh, door molding here mm -hmm. so and I got to go back pretty much half oh, an okay. inch or more see that oh. and then all the way down Iron bow. and then I want to make a cut like right here so then it's all pretty much one piece at first I thought I was gonna have to make a 45 cut here and I was like no I don't want to have a cut in the top of my mantle here I want to make it one piece if I can so I decided to go this route so I'll cut it here and then I'll have another piece of edging here I've got some spare left over out there so I can just cut off an edge and glue it on here after I make the angle cut so let me work that out. It's like I got it. I got it all in all one slab, one piece. I did the angle cut coming over here and an angle for half of 45 right there. I did cut another piece here, but be aware, be caution. Every so often in these corners of the faux wood beams, they have a screw embedded into the foam. And I tried to cut that uh, I might have to get my grinder out to cut it, or I may just use it uh, when I stick it in here to put it in place. I might drill a hole into that piece, into the foam that it goes into, and then just fill it with silicone, and that might help it actually anchor it on there better. So when it goes in place, see, we're gonna have a nice seam there. So that's how that goes. Got it up against the plank wood in the back. The next step is going to be cut out a rectangular port part here and then back that is going to be the cap of the TV that lifts up. So that will lift up and that will be mounted to the top of the TV uh, cap. So there will be a gap. I'm thinking about maybe a eighth of an inch to a quarter inch around there on the top of the mantle you'll be able to see it but it's the way we have to do with a telescoping tv all right now for the nerve wracking part and that is to finally cut this mantle faux beam that i've got these things are not cheap so I've taken double measurements here. I've got to make a kind of like a U-cut come this way out from the back and all the way down here where the TV front is. 
and then back towards the wall. And then I'll, ha I'll have that piece cut out. And then I'll have to take the smaller piece again and probably cut out close to a quarter inch, I imagine, so that we have a little slight gap in there. So if the TV wobbles or shakes going up and down into place, it's not gonna hit and stop that motor in any way. So I've got it laid out here, right on the patio here. And I've got my measurements cut, or uh, not cut yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. And since I have to go in like square in the middle, I can't use the circular saw. So I'm gonna try my jigsaw. All right guys, that did it. I was able to uh, use the keyhole saw, punch that down right through the middle there, of this piece. I don't know if you can see that. Punched it down there, cut that way, cut that way. And now we have our TV lift roof. This part is gonna go on top of the TV and that will be the stationary mantel piece. So I'm happy, got that situated, all done successfully. Now I need to make a larger gap around it so I'll probably slice this with a circular saw down there and a little bit on each end to uh, make this a little bit smaller than that opening so it doesn't hit when it goes up and down Okay, I think I got a pretty good cut here now. See how I mentioned I was gonna leave a gap? Because sometimes that TV lift wiggles going up and down because it's such a large widescreen TV. So we have a gap all the way around, even in the back. And make sure it clears your switches right here. Everything's looking good and clear. Might have to shim this up on the TV a little bit to level it out. I'm going to be using these Torch Star little mini three inch lamps in those beams above our entertainment walls. And notice they do swivel. That's why I got them. You can swivel them up against the wall, the stone, to highlight the stone on the wall. We put them up kind of like that, it'll be angled toward the wall over there and I'm gonna put a couple up above the fireplace as well I think three there and a fourth one around the angle corner and then two above the fireplace so we'll get these all wired in get the holes cut in our beams with the hole saw we'll see how these lights look all right guys the next step was to drill our holes for our little disc lights they're three inch disc lights and they're tiltable so I can tilt them up against the stone here and show off the stone when the projector screen is up. I did use a hole saw. This is a three and a half inch hole saw for these particular lights. And I'll leave a link to both of these products below. They did come with the lights. It came the J boxes up above where you can do your wiring in and link from one to the other. We're also gonna use a Levitron, I think, smart light switch that's dimmable it's actually it's not it's a, a plug it's a smart plug wi-fi plug 
and we'll see how all that works out as soon as I get this finished. You're the opposite of me, like sun and rain, and drama on the TV is full of pain. All right, guys, we're back, and as you can see, I'm almost finished, or as you will see, and just notice, I wanted to point out a few things. When you're doing a entertainment wall or some kind of a show wall like I did, uh, it's nice to incorporate some of those same textures and features, uh, like the faux stone. I did add on multiple areas other than the two walls, like our staircase on both sides going up and then the plank wall up here going up to the upper staircase and so that brings that look all around your room and if you see here the pallet uh, slats right there going all the way up very happy with it notice I got the lights in the lights really set this off because they show the texture of your stacked stone wall and remember they're meant to look like real stone, but they're easy to install. One person. I did it myself. Very happy. If you see here, you will notice the lamps in place. And they do have, they tilt. So that makes it nice. So I can tilt it up against the wall. I did do the touch-up paint on the, on the beams. That turned out okay. I see. I'll show you over here too on this beam. It's like a, a dark walnut touch-up paint. And I did touch up the screw heads as well. So it all is coming together. Overall, I'm very pleased with it. The last touch-up spot I have is this end cap that I made here, custom, on this angle on the mantle. It's a little bit messy, but it was the best I could do. Notice we did get this all leveled out with the TV where that uh, telescopes up, telescoping TV we got on there and it's nice and level and smooth. So that turned out really nice. I do have to get some touch up to do on the edge. I'll show you that as we lift the TV right now. Echo, raise TV. Notice how it's all smart. The lights know when the TV is going to be coming up. So the lights go out for you. And there you go, the TV's coming up. That automatically turns on. Everything's all Alexa smart. The TV backlights know when to come on. The TV knows to, when it comes up to automatically go to my security system monitor. So basically in the evening, that's our security system while we watch our movies and TV on our projection screen over here. I'll show you that as well.
great TV. Lower TV. Oh. Turn off projector. Every time.